student, Mrs. Gerber here with another library lesson. Now we are nearing the end of our time together for library, so I wanna make sure that we talk about the summer. Now you may or may not know that we always have a theme for summer library, a summer library program, and definitely the summer reading challenge. This year's theme is called Tales and Tales, so it's going to be an animal theme. So today we're going to do three different things here. First off, we're gonna be talking about the Tales and Tales theme and who the featured illustrator will be this year. Secondly, we're gonna be reading a story all about animal tales. And third, this is where you get to do the fun activity for your assignment today. You're going to imagine what it would be like if you had an animal tale and actually designing your animal tale today. Okay, let's get started. Now let's talk about Tales and Tales, the Summer Library Program for 2021. So first off, let's look at those two words. Tales, that means animal tales, and tales, T-A-L-E-S, spelled differently, refers to stories, like you may have heard fairy tales or folk tales. Those are actually called homophones that they are sound the same but they have two different meanings let's take a look at some of the artwork here this is one of the posters and here's another one so this one having more jungle type animals and farm animals all those animals with tails reading tails Here's another one. Do you notice all the bright colors the illustrator used? How they're all reading books. And just a couple more artwork from this year. There's this one. And these ones look really different. Ocean animals in those two posters. Now all of this artwork is done by a very famous author and illustrator. Her name is Selena Yoon. All right, let's find a little bit more out about a Selena. Here she is as a little girl, and here she is today. So just a little bit more information about her. Um, she was born as Yoon Ah in Busan, Korea in 1972. So that was her name at first when she was born. As a little girl, she grew up in a small rural town without a TV. So it talks on her website how she had to be very creative and use things around her to play with or make her own toys. When she was four, it says she came to the United States in 1976 at the age of four, and she was given a new name, Selena. Now she's the author and illustrator of nearly 200 books. And a lot of her books are interactive. They have like flaps and tabs and die cuts and even wheels on them. So um, she lives in San Diego, California right now with her husband, who's also an artist, and her two sons. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of her books. One of the series she has is the Penguin series. So here's a couple books from that series, Penguin on Vacation and Penguin and Pine Cones. Notice how it's that really bright, fun illustrations like the one she did for the summer theme this year. This is one of those interactive books. This one's called Pinwheel, and you can actually spin each page and see all those colors turning together. This book looked really different compared to her other ones. Notice that the colors are more muted in here, not as much. This one's called Be a Friend. And this is a Duck Duck Porcupine book called My Kite is Stuck and Other Stories. Now, Summer Library, when we're referring to the Summer Library program, it's going to be two things. So first off, we will have a Summer Reading Challenge for 2021. You might remember this is what last year's looked like. So I will be creating a new one that you will have to complete throughout the whole summer and you will get a prize, a reward for participating in it. And we usually have some sort of celebration in the fall to celebrate those readers. 
And as far as a summer library program, you may have come to that before in the past. Um, in the past, we've had about six different days over the summer where we allow families to come in and check out books and have fun STEM activities and challenges to do. I put TBD there. That stands for To Be Determined. We really don't know yet this summer um, what it's going to look like and whether or not we will have that program. So that's why I said more info to come. I'll be keeping you posted on both of those things soon. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and listen to an animal story and see what our activity will be for today. What do you do with a tail like this? Animals use their noses, ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet in very different ways. See if you can guess which each part belongs to and how it is used. At the back of the book, you can find out more about these animals. What do you do with a nose like this? If you're a platypus, you use your nose to dig in the mud. If you're a hyena, you find your next meal with your nose. If you're an elephant, you use your nose to give yourself a bath. If you're a mole, you use your nose to find your way underground. If you're an alligator, you breathe through your nose while hiding in the water. What do you do with ears like these? If you're a jackrabbit, you use your ears to keep cool. If you're a bat, you see with your ears. If you're a hippopotamus, you close your ears when you're underwater. If you're a cricket, you hear with ears that are on your knees. If you're a humpback whale, you hear sounds hundreds of miles away. What do you do with a tail like this? If you're a giraffe, you brush off pesky flies with your tail. If you're a skunk, you lift your tail to warn that a stinky spray is on the way. If you're a lizard, you break off your tail to get away. If you're a scorpion, your tail can give a nasty sting. If you're a monkey, you hang from a tree by your tail. What do you do with eyes like these? If you are an eagle, you spot tiny animals from the high in the air. If you're a chameleon, you look two ways at once. If you're a four-eyed fish, you look above and below the water at the same time. If you're a horned lizard, you squirt blood out of your eyes. If you're a bush baby, you use your large eyes to see clearly at night. What do you do with feet like these? If you're a chimpanzee, you feed yourself with your feet. If you're a blue-footed body, you do a dance. If you're a water strider, you walk on water. If you're a gecko, you use your sticky feet to walk on the ceiling. If you're a mountain goat, you leap from ledge to ledge. What do you do with a mouth like this? If you're a pelican, you use your mouth as a net to scoop up fish. If you're an egg-eating snake, you use your mouth to swallow eggs larger than your head. If you're a mosquito, you use your mouth to suck blood. If you're an anteater, you capture termites with your long tongue. If you're an archer fish, you catch insects by shooting them down with a stream of water. The end. Here I am in Schoology in the library course, so heading into the folder for this week and then the appropriate day. You'll see two things here. You'll see uh, the Tales and Tales video and part two says, if I had a tail library assignment.
So your directions say here to watch the video and then you're gonna open the attachment right here and send it to Notability. Let's go ahead and send this over to Notability. All right, let's head to Notability now. Okay, so there it is. This is what it should look like here. Okay, so for this, what you wanna do is you can either draw, you can use the drawing tools here, tapping there to uh, use any of these. That's probably the easiest to do using those tools. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tap right here and head into my photo library. And if it doesn't have access, you wanna say allow access to all photos here. And I'm gonna pull in this picture of me and click add. Okay, so I got my photo to fill the box here and see how I did a full length one so I can see myself here. So I'm going to go ahead and start. And remember, you can change the thickness of any of these that you want to. So I'll start drawing on here. Eh, I think I want a little thinner than that. All right, a little bit more over here. And then I can add in some details here. All right, so I did the best I could. I chose a peacock tail. So then from here, I would answer this question, I'd say, if I could have a tail, I would be a peacock. So you can either write it again with that pen tool here, or you could use the text box tool and actually type in that box right there, however you wanna do it. And then I would finish because, and I would say, I have always loved peacocks because I think uh, their tails are just beautiful. They're my favorite colors. Um, once you're done with that, we would Hit right here and share it to other apps. Share note. And then from here, we would choose Schoology. And you'd have to go back in. Yours will say um, to submit to an assignment. You go back in and find your course, find the library course, and then this If I Had a Tail assignment. Okay? All right. I hope you have fun creating and imagining yourself with any animal tail.